In this video we're going to have a look at working out percentages without using a calculator. The key thing when you're doing any question involving percentages is to remember what that means. Percent means out of 100. And you can always refer back to that to help you to answer any question on percentages. We'll start with some simple ones, so finding 50%, 25% and 75%. Now, you may remember that 50% is the same as a half. If you're not sure, you can convince yourself that 50% does mean a half like this. So 50% means 50 out of 100. We can see that we can cancel this fraction down. We can cancel by 10 because 10 goes into 50 and into 100. So that's 5 over 10. That will then go further because 5 goes into 5 and into 10, 1 half. So 50% is the same as a half. 25% is the same as a quarter. And you can convince yourself of that in the same way. 25 out of 100, well, 5 will go into both of these. 5 into 25 go 5 times, 5 into 100 go 20 times. 5 into 5 go 1. 5 into 20 go 4. And 75% is the same as 3 quarters. So in the same way, 75 out of 100. Well, numbers that go into 75 and 100, well, 5 will go in. So 5s into 75 are going to go 15 times. 5s into 100 go 20 and then cancel this down, 5s into 15 go 3, 5s into 20 go 4. So we now know that 50% is a half, 25% is a quarter, and 75% is the same as 3 quarters. Okay, so when we're finding 50% of something, we're essentially finding half of it. So let's start with this one, £100. Let's find 50%, 25%, and 75%. Well, 50% of 100 is going to be the same as a half of 100. So to half we divide by 2, half of 100, 50 pounds. 25% is going to be looking at what's a quarter of 100. Well a quarter is the same as divide by 4, so that's going to be 25. To find 75%, there's a couple of things we can do. Finding 3 quarters is quite tricky to do, but we've got these two. So first of all, we could say, well, 75 is made up of 50% plus 25%. So that's 50 plus 25, which is 75 pounds. Or we could say 75 is the same as 3 lots of 25. So we could multiply this number here, our 25%, by 3, and get £75 again, the same answer. Let's try a couple more. About £320. Well, if we're going to find 50%, that's half, so divide by 2. Half of 320 is 160. Twenty-five percent. That's a divide by four. So that's going to be eighty. So here, notice you could either do three hundred and twenty divided by four, or you could take your value for fifty percent and just half it again. And for seventy-five percent, we can either add these two together, or we could triple this value. So if we add those two together get 240 pounds. Look at 90 pounds. 50% is going to be half. That's 45. 25% we're going to need to halve this again. So half of 40 is 20. Half of 5 is 2.5. So add those two together. 
22.5, so £22.50. And for 75% we can just add these two together. So we're going to get £67.50. So those are easy ways to work out 50%, 25% and 75%. We're now going to look at finding other amounts of the percentages without using a calculator. So 10%, 5% and other amounts that are quite easy to work out. Now your magic value here, really powerful thing to work with is 10%. 10% remember means 10 out of 100. Now if we look at that fraction, 10 will go into the top number and into the bottom number. 10s into 10 go 1, 10s into 100 go 10 times, so that's 1 tenth. That's the same as divide by 10. So if we start with our £100 here, if we're going to find 10% of £100, we're going to do £100 divided by 10, which is ten pounds. If at this stage you're struggling with how I've done that bit, you need to go away and have a look at my video on multiplying and dividing by ten and a hundred. Now from this we can find other percentages. To find five percent, well five is half of ten. So to find five percent we can just halve ten percent. So ten percent was ten pounds divide that by 2 it's 5 pounds from this we could work out 30 percent now 30 percent would be 3 lots of 10 percent so we're doing 3 lots of 10 percent which is 10 pounds so that's 30 pounds let's have a look at another one at £320. Well, 10% we're going to do 320 divided by 10, so that's 32. 5%, we need to then take our 10%, which is £32, and halve that, so that's £16. From this, we could work out 15% because 15% is just 10% plus 5% so what we need to do is 32 plus 16 which is 48 pounds we could also work out what 1% is now 1% would be 1 out of 100, that's 1 hundredth, so that's the same as dividing by 100. So if we need to find 1% we can take £320 and divide that by 100. Which is going to be £3.20. From this now we could do all sorts, we could work out what 16% is by taking 15% and 1% and adding them together. So that would be £51.20. Last one, let's have a look at 90%. So if we're looking at 90% then, 10% we divide by 10 to give us £9. 5% half £9, £4.50. We could get 20% by doubling that, so it's 10% times 2, so it's £18. We could get 1% by dividing £90 by 100, remember 1% means divide by 100, so that would be 90p. From 1%, 1 
we could get 2%. So 2% is just going to be 2 lots of 1%. So that'll be 2 lots of 90p, which is £1.80. So from this now, we could work out 23% of £90, which looks like quite a complicated question to do without your calculator. But this is just made up of 20% plus 2% plus 1%. So that would be 18 plus £1.80 plus 90p. So altogether, 23% of £90 is going to come to £20.70. So you can see there we can do something that looks like a very, very complicated question without our calculator by breaking it down into small, smaller chunks. And that's how you work out percentages without using your calculator.